In today's video, I'm going to discuss how to compute the mean square error between two vectors. But first, let's see what uh, this measure actually is. So, mean squared error, also known as mean squared deviation, abbreviated as MSE or MSD, uh, measures the average of uh, the squares of the error, that is the average square difference between the estimated values and the actual value. And we have here the expression used to compute this value. So given two vectors, uh, well here called y and uh, y uh, with uh, this sign on top, but let's say it's A and B, uh, basically you compute the sum of AI minus BI uh, squared and then uh, the result is divided by N where N is the size of uh, the two vectors. So the two vectors must have the same size. So now let's take a look at uh, an assembly language implementation. So I have this uh, procedure here that uh, receives in RDI uh, the first vector, in RSI the second vector, and in RCX uh, the vector size, and uh, both vectors must have the same size. The result uh, will be in EAX. Now, uh, it doesn't really matter the order for these two vectors, uh, we should get a similar result regardless of the order in which the two vectors are uh, provided as parameters. So um, what happens in the procedure? First we save uh, these uh, the register values and uh, the register values are going to be restored at the end of the function and uh, in the function uh, what's happening? First uh, we save ECX to a temporary location. Uh, this is the size of the two vectors, the common size, let's call it N. Uh, this is then loaded onto the floating point stack uh, using uh, the instruction field. Uh, and uh, why we are using this as n and not FLD because uh, this is an integer. So in this case, uh, the Y in the instruction name stands for integer. So now uh, on the floating point stack, we have uh, the number N. And this was automatically converted uh, to a floating point. I'm also loading a zero. This will be used to accumulate the sum. Uh, now uh, I have a loop here. I'm uh, pushing onto the floating point stack the uh, value from uh, the first vector. Uh, this is pointed to by RDI. I'm subtracting uh, the second vector value and this is pointed to by RSI. So uh, in the first run uh, on the stack, we'll have now uh, AI A1 actually minus B1. Uh, this will be on the top of the stack. Then we have a zero and then we have uh, the number N. I'm uh, multiplying the top of the stack. So this will give us the squared of uh, difference uh, and I'm using F add B uh, which will uh, add the current square of the difference uh, to the value in ST1 will also pop the stack so basically uh, when getting to this point uh, within the loop uh, on the top of the stack we'll have the current sum AI minus BI uh, squared and we still have the number N uh, the next element on the floating point stack 
I'm also advancing uh, RDI and uh, RSI to the next uh, vector elements. I'm adding four because these are 32-bit values which correspond to four bytes. And of course, uh, there is this uh, loop which will continue as long as uh, there is a number in uh, RCX. Uh, now, when exiting uh, the loop, uh, remember that on the top of the stack we have uh, the sum, and again looking here, so the first element on the floating point stack will be this sum and now we need to divide it by n and uh, n is already pushed uh, in st1 uh, however f div p um, will divide uh, st1 by st0 so we need first to exchange those two values using uh, fxch so this will simply exchange the content of the floating point stack. Then FDP uh, will divide uh, ST1 by ST0, the results stored in ST1. ST0 will be popped uh, because we have this P here. So basically uh, the stack will become uh, ST0 equals sum AI minus BI squared over N. And again, if we look to the formula, this is exactly the MSC value that we were trying to obtain. And now uh, we can store this first to a temporary location in memory, and then from uh, that memory location, we can move it to EAX. And again, I remind you that uh, 14 point instructions are not able to access uh, internal CPU registers, and this uh, is derived from uh, the initial implementation within the 8087 mathematical coprocessor which was a different chip than the main uh, CPU. So even though now uh, these instructions are implemented in the main CPU, uh, still uh, the architecture remained the same and uh, floating point instructions cannot directly access internal CPU registers. That's why we need to store uh, the result first in a temporary memory location and then uh, from memory move it to EAX. And that's it. We restore the registers and return uh, from the runtime. So uh, I've also prepared a small test here. So, first of all, uh, I have a vector here which uh, contains minus 0 0.5, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, and the second vector containing 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and 0 0.1. As you can see, uh, these two vectors have uh, the same size, uh, so we can compute the mean squared error between uh, these two vectors. I also have a couple of messages here and the buffer used to convert uh, floating point 32 number to a string which will be uh, displayed. So now let's take a look at the program. So <clears throat> I'm uh, starting by uh, displaying the first vector. I'm displaying the message then the actual vector data. Uh, again, I'm uh, displaying uh, the second vector, again, first the message, then the vector data. And now I'm preparing to call the MSC uh, routine. So in uh, RDI uh, will be the pointer to vector 1, in RSI pointer to vector 2, and in RCX the common size, and remember both vectors have three elements. So now the routine gets called here. The result uh, will be stored in EAX. So I'm uh, first displaying a message saying MSC. Uh, then I'm calling uh, the uh, conversion function and I have a video about this function. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and then 
the content of the buffer is displayed and finally we exit to the operating system so let's take a look at the program i already built this program this is the build and uh, i've covered this in a number of videos it's uh, very simple i'm just using the nasm assembler to compile uh, the individual files and then the ld linker to link them so let's see uh, what happens when we run the program so we get uh, the first vector is displayed so it's minus 0 0.5 0 and 0 0.5 then we have the second vector 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 and finally the msc is computed uh, and it's 0 0.17 so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.